All right, so full warning, this video, if you watch this thing, it's only a few minutes long, but it will make you lucid dream. You know, if you've had trouble lucid dreaming before, if you've tried various techniques and things, this video, if you've watched the whole thing, it's about five minutes long, will make sure you lucid dream. So the reason I'm giving you a warning is because most people are not kind of ready for it. They think they're ready to lucid dream, but they're not. If you're still watching this, the chances are you want to do it. So leave a comment, scroll down, and leave a comment, let me know why you want to lucid dream. Okay, so the way you do it is essentially by reconditioning yourself to unlearn all the stuff you've been taught on, well, places like YouTube, but also various other places as well. And so what I mean by that is on YouTube, the focus is on kind of like techniques and induction, whereas the real focus should be on awareness and consciousness. The very practical, you know, easiest way you do that is by stop focusing on techniques and things like, you know, being able to lucid dream tonight and doing various techniques and induction things specifically to lucid dream tonight and just focus on building the habit of being more aware and conscious of everything that goes on in your waking life. When you do this, when you make this shift, you will lucid dream, well, firstly, you will lucid dream tonight, but you will also lucid dream, you know, most nights, well, whenever you want to, really. It'll just become like a very easy, natural thing. And the reason that this will happen for you, the reason this shift is so easy is because with techniques, subconsciously, you're setting yourself up to fail. Like if you tell yourself, I'm gonna lucid dream tonight with this technique, and then you try, and then it doesn't work, what happens is subconsciously you start to think, oh, well, I'm a failure, it's not gonna work, it doesn't work for me, or it's difficult or something. Whereas if you shift your focus instead to just be, I'm gonna become more aware, or I'm gonna build the habit of being more conscious in my everyday life, because there's no specific outcome, you can't really fail. And because you can't fail, you stay very motivated. Whereas if you try and lucid dream tonight and then you don't do it, to your subconscious mind and even your conscious mind, that's a failure. That's a failure. And you're gonna think, well, I tried, it didn't work, and then you're gonna give up. So it's much easier to just think about how can you become more conscious and aware in your day-to-day -day life. And when you do that, lucid dreaming becomes very, very easy. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. What you can actually do is you can take it a step further and you can say, you're gonna completely take the pressure off yourself because the chances are up until now, you've been trying to do like induction techniques and things where it's this binary kind of yes or no situation. You either did have a lucid dream or you didn't. And like I said, it massively in increases the pressure. You put a lot of pressure on yourself and you don't really need to. And like I said, because you have that kind of yes or no, that fail or succeed aspect to it, you're gonna be very unmotivated when you do fail because at the beginning, you probably will fail a lot. You'll try, fail, try and lucid dream, not have one. And this could go on for months, even years for some people. It's much better to say from the very beginning, you don't care whether it works or not. And all you're gonna do is focus on what you can control, which is becoming slightly more aware and more conscious every day. And the way you do that is by things like reality checks, you know, going right back to basics, of course, but to take the pressure off yourself and subconsciously it will become much easier when you don't have to lucid dream tonight. And when you can be fine with not doing it for several weeks even, ironically, you will actually lucid dream more. It's when you kind of take that pressure off yourself and you let yourself go potentially weeks without lucid dreaming, that's when it actually happens because the pressure is what stops you from doing it. And I hope this is making sense because especially for beginners, if you're watching any videos on YouTube, there's a whole bunch of different like meditation tracks and induction tracks and stuff. And it's the same thing with those. What happens is usually you'll play a track and you'll think, okay, this is what's gonna make me lucid, this music track or whatever it is. And then of course what happens is you listen to the track, you don't have a lucid dream and you consider that a failure. It's only a failure because you expected yourself to lucid dream that specific night. But if you looked at it more of like a long-term play of just becoming more conscious and aware, then that's when you'll have those random or spontaneous lucid dreams, those natural lucid dreams. And really it's, it's only that that's gonna be sustainable long-term. In layman's terms, that's what works. It's not this idea of I need to do it specifically tonight, I'm gonna you know, wake up at 4 a.m. That might work, you know, sometimes, but if it doesn't, you know, you can put a lot of pressure on yourself. So yeah, I hope this makes sense because I see this oft quite often with beginners. They'll really put a lot of pressure on themselves to learn a technique, to use a meditation track to lucid dream. And if it works and, and great, that's obviously great, but more often than not, it doesn't work. And then that's when you start losing motivation. When you lose motivation, the whole thing falls apart because it's basically all based on motivation and intention. If you like subconsciously, if you go into it thinking, well, I tried this before and it didn't work, then of course it's not gonna work. You need to really go into it with the mindset that it's gonna work, it's gonna be easy, but even if I don't do it tonight, that's still fine and I'm still gonna do the thing. 
like the thing being the practice reality checks or whatever it is <laughs> really this applies to uh, not just lucid dreaming but everything instead of focusing on the result right the goal focus on the process that will get you to that goal so let's say if the process in this case is like doing reality checks writing your dreams down meditating those things you can control it's 100 percent in your control you can just say i will do it and that process is what will actually let you lucid dream if you focus on did i lucid dream or not well then of course you know most nights you won't and then now you're going to be unmotivated so i do have a bunch of this stuff in my lucid boot camp program which if you've been watching these videos for a while and you haven't seen it then i'm surprised because i mention it quite often <laughs> but basically the lucid boot camp program is like a 30-day printable template which i made and it's really cool i made a video to explain what it is but basically it's like a motivational tool that you can use it really does help you it's a motivational printable tool it has like a daily video for 30 days where i guide you through exactly what you need to do and you can find that in the description there's also a whole bunch of other stuff in the description and leave a comment letting you know if you've tried this or if this kind of resonates with you does this make sense let me know